Hey everyone, welcome to lesson six. Presence is unobscurable or already here, already present. In my personal journey, this is probably one of the most profound realizations that I've had. One of the core key concepts that I've always tried to incorporate in my teachings, regardless of whatever level of my teachings I was teaching. And it's this word of already, it's this concept of already here. It's so potent and so powerful because it bypasses the human's tendency to judge itself, to compare its experience to what it should look like, or to say, to always have the tendency to say that this is not enough, or this is not it, or this is not it yet. And so this idea of already, when we really wrap our minds around it, when we really start to embody that experience, we start to recognize that it's illogical Actually, it's illogical for us to continue to believe that it's not already here. Why? Well, one way, to, um, one way to show you that is to take you briefly through that experience of presence, which is right here, right now, as you familiarized yourself with this in um, chapter one. So you can now tune into the presence that's here at will. So just do that for two to five seconds. Easy, right? So how could you do that? First of all, how could you have done that if that which you noticed was not already present? But also, since we know that everything is presence, that presence is the only substance, it's the only electricity in a sense, it's the only energy out of which any appearance, any form can be made, then also it starts to no longer make any sense to call things obstacles or to say, for example, I am not good enough because I have this tendency to be angry, let's say. So let's say a personal quality such as anger, uh, we tend to say, well, that is not spiritual or that is not enlightened or that's not very present. But if we just take that example of anger and we start to sort of enter the anger with our attention as we did in lesson three, everything has presence, everything has isness, we start to realize that actually our anger is nothing but presence energy as well. So I am presence energy. The seeming obstacle, anger, is presence energy. And the enlightened presence that I'm trying to get to or I'm trying to embody or trying to realize is presence energy. In this case, in this course, in this chapter. And so I am presence energy, the obstacle is presence energy, and what I'm trying to look for is presence energy. And when you clearly see that, that everything already is presence energy, then this whole idea of not being enough or lacking or there being obstacles to your enlightenment, there being obstacles to your natural presence just completely vanishes. Just in the clarity of recognizing that everything is already present, that whether you think or not think, whether you feel or not feel, whatever emotions run through your system, presence is already present. When you realize that, you can start to relax into it rather than try to get to it. And this is a crucial difference. So for this lesson and throughout this second chapter, make it a habit to remind yourself to relax into presence, knowing that it's already here, you're already bathed in it, rather than to try to get to presence. Just two to five seconds of relaxing into presence. Why? Because it's already here. Effortless, easy. Enjoy.